Hey everyone, um, so I'm gonna do right now an, a mascara empties video. Um, I am gonna have my normal empties video, but I just have so many empty mascaras I thought I should do a separate video. I'm hoping to cram all of these in, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to because there's so many. So let's see if I can just give a quick little review for each one of these. Um, these are going to be very dirty because they've been in the bag for a while, so just a heads up. And I've accumulated these over months and months and I've kind of just kind of saved it for later because there are just so many of them. Um, so first I have here is Sephora's Outrageous Volume Mascara. It came in a kit like, I don't know, was it last year or the year before that? I don't know. Um, it's a trial size. This is what the brush looks like. If you are a fan of Urban Decay's Big Fatty, their new one, they have a new version of it, or Clinique's, whatever their new or mascara was, this brush is essentially the same. Now, this, um, this trial size sucks, and the reason why is because the stopper in here doesn't take off the excess product, like, I don't know if you can hear it, it's like, there's barely anything going on over here. So it just leaves your wand with too much mascara. Um, the full size is totally different. The same brush, but it actually wipes off all the excess. So it's really great. I really do like this mascara, but the um, little trial or sample size is horrible. So just keep that in mind if you have that and you hate it. Um, you could give the full size a shot if you like the wand. Next I have is Lancome Seals, Seals Booster XL. Got this in a gift purchase a while ago. Um, I do favor this one over Tarts. Um, let's see if I have it here. Here's Tarts, yeah. Multiply, multiply. <laughs> Sorry, that's what it's kind of listed as. Um, and this is also a sample. A lot of these little ones you'll see I got in like Sephora favorites kits, like for Christmas and stuff. Um, so there's the one on that one, that's Tarte's. And I find that the spacing of the brush for Tarte is a little too wide so it doesn't grab all my lashes, whereas the Lancome one, it's got more bristles closer together. And so it kind of helps, I guess, the primer do its job as far as kind of coating all the lashes. So I do like this one better, it's not my favorite. I haven't, I, haven't, I don't know, I guess I haven't come across a really great uh, primer yet, but I have the sample of Dior's. The Dior one, I don't know what it's called, but I'll try that and hopefully that'll be amazing. But these are all right. Um, I don't find any anything special about this, so yeah, definitely would not go out and purchase at, at all. So I got this one in a kit. I like kits because you get more bang for your buck. You'll learn that about me if you, I guess, continue to watch my videos. This is Lorex Multiplex 3D Lashes. I don't like it. I also have, and I'm going to group these together because they have the exact same brush. So if you like one or the other, I don't know, whatever one's cheaper, go with that. Um, two of the same, came in kits. Um, one I think was in the Book of Shadows, the last one they had. The brush is exactly the same. I do not like the formula. Um, let's see if I just set that down, then you can actually see it. This does nothing. It just clumps my lashes. I've also, it's a very wet formula and I find it doesn't dry. Like, you know how mascara tubes tend to dry out over time? This one doesn't seem to do that, so I am not very successful in putting mascara on for this. I think if you have naturally thick lashes, then this might be a good one for you to try. I have very thin lashes, but long, so um, I prefer to have a volumizing mascara or one that is buildable so that I can kind of coat it and kind of adjust, you know, adjust the amount of, or the, adjust the look as necessary, as however I feel that day. So sometimes I like the natural look, but a lot of times I like to really enhance my lashes. So I would not go out of my way to purchase these, ever. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Is this the same? I don't know. Yeah, Superficial Lash from Hourglass. I do like this one a lot. It's so expensive though. So this is the small one and this is the actual full size tube. Um, the wand is exactly the same so I'll show that to you. I love the wand and there's just enough 
density in the brush that can that you can separate separate your lashes. I cannot talk today. Um, I like the color. I like how it kind of applies. I haven't found any problems with smudging or flaking with this, but the price is just too much. So I love it, but I don't think I would purchase it just because of the price. It's really great though. Yeah, no, I probably wouldn't buy it. This, I got this a while ago from CVS, and I had used it a while ago, but I had it saved. All Mace Intense Eye Color Volumizing Mascara. This one's in brown topaz. I bought a bunch of these when they were on clearance for like 75% off. This is the wand. As you can see, it's a very dry mascara, and I tend to favor drier mascaras. I forgot to show you the thing. Um... I, even if they had it, I wouldn't repurchase it. It, for me, I find that it flakes and it drives me bananas. I just can't stand that. So, there was nothing special about this. I mean, you could always give it a shot if you see it somewhere, like at Big Lots or something, but I would not repurchase that ever. Next, I have Bare Minerals Flawless Definition Mascara. This is a little one. I also have another big one because it came in a kit. This is the wand. I haven't tried it on my lower lash line, now I might do that with the other one I have, but I am not impressed by this. This did nothing for me. I, I don't know, I don't like it. So I wouldn't repurchase it. It's, I don't know, I felt like it only coated, barely coated my lashes. So I think, again, if you have thick lashes already, but you just want something to kind of enhance them a little bit, or separate them a little bit as well, then maybe give this a shot. But, again, I don't think it's worth the money to go out and purchase this unless it just happens to come in a kit or something because you could find a better drug drugstore alternative so um next i've got revlon's photo ready 3d volume mascara and the wand is very similar to arena k's big fatty clinique's new mascara as well as that sephora one that i was talking about i really like this um i don't love it but i like it I enjoyed it while I had it. I think I might have another one. I'm not sure. So I have to... I'll dig that out and use it. Um, it's nice. I didn't have any flaking issues. I think some people had complained about flaking. No flaking, no smudging for me. But I really love the separation. Um, it is buildable if you just continue one eye at a time instead of doing one eye and then the other. And then going back to it. Just do the eye, get some more mascara, and do it again. So um, I had more success that way. So I would consider it if I had like a crazy, you know, deal or if I had coupons or if it was on 75% off. But I wouldn't go out of my way and purchase it. So I will happily use the other one that I have. Next is Buxom's Buxom Lash Mascara. And I really like this. Um, I wouldn't normally like something like this. I, I think what makes a big difference for me is the brush and you see how many bristles there are here I mean it's just a I just love the bristles because it really really separates my lashes um, it takes longer if I just use it directly but if I happen to use another mascara in conjunction with it not a primer but a normal one maybe more of a volumizing one I love using this on top of it because it really separates and fans out my lashes. It almost makes me look like I've got fake um, lashes on and I hate wearing fake lashes but this I would definitely, definitely repurchase. It's lasted quite a long time and I've used it past, you know, the amount or the, what, three month mark that most people say. I never go by that anyways. I go by texture and the smell of it but I totally, totally would repurchase this. It's amazing. Um, I think that would work for most people, um, but it depends on the effect that you like. So, um, if you like your lashes separated, you can use that, um, like I said, whether by itself or with another mascara. But, um, you can use it, I don't know, it's just, it's really good for, I think, a lot of people. Whoops, my phone is beeping. But definitely, I think it's worth a shot, and it's worth the money, too. So, let's see here. Uh, sorry, one second.
Okay. All right, so next I have L'Oreal's, oh my gosh, I've got mascara all over my hands, a Voluminous Million Lashes, and I know some people cannot stand this mascara, but I just love, love, love this. Look at this mascara on my finger. All over. Um, I love this stuff. Um, this is the wand. It just, I find that it kind of builds my lashes pretty quickly. It separates it. It's like a one-stop shop. Um, sometimes I like to like build my mascaras with like other ones and kind of put them all together because I'm not really getting the effect that I like from them individually. But this, I can just use this by itself and I'll be a happy camper. Um, no flaking, no smudging for me. I just love it. I think it's amazing and definitely, definitely will repurchase. I've got this Benefits They're Real, and this is a little sample size, but I got this in a um, Sephora Favorites kit that I got for Christmas. Let's do that. So this is the sample size, of course, as I said. I'm sure everyone knows what the wand looks like, but I will show it anyways. Now, at first, I hated this mascara because I found it just too wet where, like, it didn't do anything for me. Um... I let it kind of sit there because I was really disappointed with it and I was like, I don't want to use this. It's a piece of crap, you know? Um, but I found that as it dried out, I actually enjoyed it. Um, it just initially clumped my lashes like crazy. I just, as many times as I went over it, it just, it did nothing but add more and make them more clumped together. So I found that when they dried out, it, it was more workable. So. I don't know if you have this and you don't like it, maybe see if hopefully it'll it'll be better as it ages, so yeah. And I found this lasted me quite a while. I, I thought, oh, I'm going to be gone in a couple weeks, but for me it lasted like a month, so. Um, I would actually consider repurchasing it, but I do have a full size, so it'll be a while if I do buy it, but I do like it. And I've got a sample of Sephora's Atomic Volume Mascara, this is an old sample. But I really liked it. So this is just the sample size. I think they don't sell this anymore. You probably can find it on eBay if you're really looking for it. But this is what the mascara wand looks like. I think, I'm not sure if Avon has a mascara, if it's like their Super Shock mascara. If anyone knows, can you let me know if that's a similar brush like this? I really like this one. This is nice. I do have my full size. Like I said, I've got too much mascara and too much makeup in general, but I love it. And I do do it professionally on the side, just so you know. I do freelance as well as a makeup artist. <laughs> but, um, and I have for years, but I like this a lot. Um, if they sold it still, and I re finished my other one, I would definitely buy it, but, um, because I didn't have any flaking or smudging issues. It seemed to do what I wanted to do for my lashes. I found it kind of comparable as far as performance as, um, the... L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes. I liked it. So, yeah, that's my thought on that, but since you can't buy it, I have another one of these, all my ones, and as I had already said with the other, no, I wouldn't buy it. I'm not even going to bother opening it and showing you. I feel the same with that. This, okay, um, this is Clinique's Lash Power Mascara. Now, I don't know what the full size is like. This is the little sample size. And this is the wand. It's very tiny. Um, this is a tubing mascara, and so basically it just kind of coats your lashes, and you can only take it off with warm water. Just soak your lashes, whether you're in the shower or the sink, kind of splash warm water, and just hold down your lashes and slight, gently pull. Don't pull so hard, otherwise you can pull your actual lashes out. Um, I really, really like this. I'm kind of picky when it comes to some tubing mascaras. Um, I kind of like the L'Oreal one, um, I tend to like it more as I use it more often, but I like this. This is probably the number one tubing mascara that I've come across. I've tried Blink, I do not like those. Those do nothing for me, but kind of give them color. But this is nice, this actually adds volume. I love the size of this brush, As again, again, let me just show that to you. I love the size of it, it really gets in there. And I used it when we went to Disneyland for our little mini family vacation, it was amazing. I would definitely buy this. I think I might do that if I happen to go on another um, family vacation and want something really long wearing, but I don't want, I don't like waterproof because I find it a little too harsh for my lashes, my itty bitty lashes, so I would definitely buy that again. 
Next I have Clinique's High Impact Mascara. I have so many of these, but I really do like this. Um, and now I'm sure that some of you are going to totally disagree with me saying this, but I do find it comparable, not 100%, okay, it's not a dupe, but I find it comparable to um, L'Oreal's Volum Voluminous Mascara. The brush performs the same to me, and I like that it coats it really well. If you let it age similar to L'Oreal Voluminous, I find that it works a little better. It's great at volume. I haven't had any problem with flaking or smudging, but it most of these mascara, I think none of these actually are waterproof. Um, but, you know, if you get splashed in the face with water, it's going to melt, of course. Um, but I really, really like this. And I think at summertime, they do have waterproof mascara, so maybe check now if you're interested in trying it and you only like waterproof. But I would definitely repurchase it if I finished all my millions of samples. So, yeah. Next, I've got Maybelline's Lash Stiletto Voluptuous. I I can't really remember too much about this. It sounds horrible, but I can't. I I know I liked it, didn't love it, but I would consider trying it again because I do. I remember that I liked how it kind of it really grabbed all of my lashes. So I liked that. But this was one that I used in conjunction with another one. I can't remember which one it was. I think it was the Buxom. I'm not sure, but. I do like this. I don't know if I'd repurchase it. I mean, if I did, it would be when there's a really fantastic sale. I had no flaking or smudging problems, and and maybe most of the time I don't get that. It could be because I always powder underneath my eyes, and even if I don't wear anything on my eyelids, which is a rare occasion, but sometimes it happens, make sure that you powder your lids because, or have a primer and then powder, just because the natural oils or sometimes eye creams can completely mess up your mascara or your makeup, so just keep that in mind. Alright, next is an oldie but a goodie. It is Lancome's Hypnose Mascara. This is just the original one. And the wand is similar to like Laura Voluminous. It's like a teddy bear wand or whatever they call it. Um, I like it. It separates well. It's buildable. Um, I get length and volume from this. I don't, again, flake or, I don't have no flaking or smudging with this. I love, love this. I love most of Lancome's mascaras. I would definitely buy this in the future. It's great. All right, <laughs> moving along, moving along. I've got Lancome's sample of Definicils. I like it, don't love it. Um, I usually, I have a bunch of these. This is the wand, I love the wand though. The color you see is almost kind of gray looking. It's not the black, it's black. But I keep this like in my car for a short period of time just so if I forget mascara, which sometimes happens if I'm in a rush, I just throw this on and, you know, I'm good. You know, it's not my favorite, but at least I have something on. So I wouldn't go out and purchase this, but I will use up what I have. I have Tarte's Gifted Amazonian Clay Smart Mascara. This is a mini. I do have the full size from a kit. I love the brush, and I do enjoy the formula, but I feel like this mascara expired, I don't know if it was the size, um, but it expired too fast for me to determine whether or not I would repurchase it or not. I hadn't had any problems, I did enjoy um, using it, so I will eventually use the full size, and then I will definitely let you know what I think. I'll give more detailed, I guess, review about it. Next, I've got Laura Mercier's, and this is also a sample, I'm almost done, you guys, uh, of Full Blown Volume Mascara. This is, again, from a kit. This is the mascara wand. I love this mascara. Again, buildable, buildable volume. Um, it separated my lashes, no flaky, no smudging for me. I really, really like mascaras that build, so... Um, I found the formula not too dry, not too wet. It was something that I could use as soon as I opened it. I didn't have to wait for it to age or anything like that. So I would consider repurchasing it. We'll see. Um, and lastly, I have a sample of Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes. I love this mascara. Um, I do find the formula is a little drier when it comes to these little sample size tubes. Sorry, I had to use this kind of sticky. And as you can see, this is totally dried out now. But I love this. It is. It really grabs all your lashes and just kind of separates everything. Make, make sure everything is coated. 
No flaking or smudging for me, and I did find that it really conditioned my lashes, so I enjoyed that as well. Um, I like this one a lot. I have the full size, and I would definitely repurchase it when I'm done with everything I've got. <laughs> so that is my ridiculously long video of mascara empties. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I love mascara. It's like a thing for me. I, I have a thing for like a lot of makeup, but mascara is, is one of them. It's like one of the things I can't like go without during the day. I need concealer, eyebrows, and mascara to look at least kind of decent and less zombie-ish. So um, it really brightens up your eyes. If you don't wear mascara, definitely give it a shot. It's amazing. Um, so anyways, and um, if you guys enjoy this, please let me know. Please thumbs up. If you haven't, um, please subscribe. And I hope you guys all have a great day. Bye.